In this video I'm going to show you how I use a silicon mold that I made out of a two-part putty to make a piece of plaster terrain that is made out of sandbags. And I'll be showing you how to mix the plaster and then what it looks like when it's setting up and how it looks once you take it apart. The plaster I'm using is Excalibur. Uh, you can pick this up online uh, from a lot of different dental supplies. Basically, you want to use a lot less water than you think. Uh, I like to use about a third of a cup of water and then get a full cup of the plaster. Uh, you won't end up using all that, but it makes it easier than digging back in your box for it. Basically, you just want to start slowly adding it in in uh, little chunks and stirring. Uh, you'll see some lumps form right when you dump the plaster in, but just keep stirring until you get to a uh, kind of between uh, like a milkshake, like a, almost like a runny milkshake. You can see here where uh, you know you mix in a lot and it'll get real lumpy. That doesn't really mean that you're getting very close to it being done. Yeah, you can see here it's starting to get a little bit thicker, but it's still not quite there. Every so often, shake in just a little bit, and you'll see right there, uh, it's almost like a white color, but when you shake it on top of it, the plaster will actually suck the water up and turn gray while it's floating on top of it. Uh, the slower it sucks the water up, the closer you are to getting done. Here you can see it's taking a little bit longer, but it's still just a little bit wet, so we're going to add in some more plaster and stir it some more. Uh, as you add in more plaster, it's going to get thicker and thicker and need more stirring, but uh, you, you really don't want to use uh, too little plaster, otherwise you'll have a lot of problems with that. Yeah, you can see here we're kind of getting, getting close. You can see that it's starting to take just a little bit longer for the water to soak into the plaster, so probably about two more uh, additions of plaster and we'll be ready on it. Uh, usually this doesn't take as long, but I'm holding the camera with one hand and stirring with the other, so that does make it a little bit more difficult. Uh, at this point, it's getting a little bit thick. You can see there we start to take more and more for it to, to clump up. Yeah, you don't want to get too much plaster in there either, because then you'd have to add some more water, and that can be a real back-and-forth kind of ordeal. And at that point, it looks pretty good. All right, now we're going to pour it in the mold. Uh, usually you'll want to dip your mold in water first and then shake it out real good. That helps things flow. I like to fill it about a third of the way full and then kind of pound it. That'll help shake loose a lot of the air bubbles in the very bottom of it, and it'll uh, make your piece look better when it's done. After I've uh, done that, I'll go ahead and pour the rest of it in. Uh, with this type of plaster, you actually want to overfill the mold a little bit, and uh, then you'll want to tap it. Don't scrape it right away. You need to let it sit for about, uh, they say three to six minutes, but I find uh, six is cutting it a little bit close. I usually let it go for about six to nine. What happens is uh, the water will actually float to the top, and you'll have to suck that off with a paper towel. This is why you overfill it, because you can see there I got the water off, but it also uh, pulled up a little bit of the plaster. You can see now here it looks pretty rough. The camera's pretty shaky. But at this point, you'll want to go ahead and scrape it. Uh, you can usually go over it once and then back the other way with the putty knife. And at this point, it should be uh, about the consistency of toothpaste, maybe just a little bit runnier. Be sure to go ahead and wipe your uh, putty knife off there while it's still wet. Alright, at this point it's been sitting for about 30 minutes after I scraped it and it should be ready to come loose. Uh, the type of putty I use for the molds is a little bit more rigid than some things I'm used to so you do have to be just a little bit careful so it doesn't tear. I haven't run into that yet but I, I really don't want to either. Uh, you pretty much just pop it out and you can be you know a little bit rough with it. It's pretty, the, the model is uh, gonna be pretty tough. And there you have the finished product. 
Uh, it takes about 30 to 45 minutes from start to finish, and you got a good-looking little piece of terrain.